whatever. I just want to say, you know, if you're watching this video, please do not forget forget to like this video, favorite this video, you know, leave a comment, share this video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel because these are the things. I mean, if you want to support Apple Black and you want you know more people to know about Apple Black. You know, the best way to go about it is to like the videos, favor the videos, leave comments, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, both the White Manga channel and the Sad AM channel. And this way, you know, you can support me not even you know, without paying, without paying anything. And this is what uh, gets the video popular and, you know, allows more people to see the video and know about my comic and so on and so forth so if you continue to do stuff like this it will really be a uh, great help to me and everybody from the sad am team so thanks and i hope that you do so hey guys uh, this is white manga with a new video and this is going to be a video on uh manga you know facial expressions uh, so for this video i'm kind of drawing sano in a you know, somewhat compromising position, but it's, uh, it's supposed to be like a funny face. And um, generally, I like to start with some sort of circle, depending on uh, you know, depending on the expression and angle and stuff like that. So, so we have now. Uh, Sano, you know, has his you know part of his clothing. And he's supposed to look, he's supposed to look a little, like, confused, slash, afraid, something like that. So, um, general, generally what I like to do is pay attention to the script and at the same time you, uh, use the storyboards. So right now I'm using the storyboards and I am looking at the script. Uh, you know, at the same time, uh, uh, using the storyboards, you know, it's, uh, you're basically the blueprint of, you know, the whole comic, at least for this chapter. And I'm looking, you know, keeping in mind the dialogue and narration, you know, just so that I know, I know what I'm doing, basically. Uh, and it's supposed to be, you know, somewhat of a, a silly, funny, chibi face. So I guess that's what this tutorial would be you know it's almost like a big head small body kind of thing that's going on right here and uh, yeah for the most part that's it you know something simple kind of shows Santa a little confused so the shoulders are really small and the head is exaggerated and looking at the script trying to figure out exactly how he's supposed to look from the script and what he's saying or what he's thinking and then I decide on what facial expression to go with. Uh, so you know, looking at the you know dialogue and what he's thinking, what's being said, he's kind of going to be a little confused and silly and kind of shy in this scene. So this is how I go about it. Uh, probably want to you know draw the eyebrows, not necessarily angry, but. You, you, you'll see what I mean. So giving it that little curve uh, for like uh, to show like anger, you know, or something or something like that. And uh, you know, the silly eyes, the silly eyes that you're not even completed. Just one, almost like one stroke, and another one, and you can make the other one be uh, below a little more shaky. Uh, same thing here and instead instead of uh, having some detailed detailed eyes just have like a dot you know it's almost like he's looking at something and he's kind of confused and he's trying to figure it out and that's what I'm gonna do with the rest of the space It's gonna be a lot of text and some uh, dialogue and stuff like that uh, again what I'll add to this would be I'm not gonna give it I'm not gonna give it a nose let me see Generally, I don't give it the nose, but you know, let's do something different here. Let's give it like a little dot for the nose. Uh, he's shy, so I give the you know almost like uh, like he's blushing a little bit, but he's also confused and he's in a way afraid. 
in this scene is actually going through a lot of emotions. This is actually one of the funny scenes in the comic for uh, in, in chapter in chapter seven. So have you know some sweat, not too much, because uh, it depends. It depends on how afraid he is or stuff like that. Uh, so you can you can you can add to it and stuff like that. Um, but generally, you can also have an extra. Uh, it's almost like a drop, it's a drop of some kind of, it looks like water, something like that. And that's normally done to exaggerate, you know, how, um, exaggerate how confused or afraid he is, like sweat, stuff like that. You know, or if, you, if you're asked the question or, some, or in, in a funny scene where a character doesn't understand something. So that helps. And for me, when I'm drawing the mouth in this scene, I think what works best would be really just a dot, a really long, sharp, uh, short line uh, for his mouth. Nothing too, you know, nothing too crazy. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to add too much. I think that'll be overkill. I think you get the point. Um, and yeah, that is how I would draw a confused. Um, Confused character. Really, there, there are other ways to go about it. That's how I'm, uh, I'm going to do it for this particular scene. Um, yeah, that's how I'm going to go for this particular scene for a confused character. You know, you can take some things away. You can take away the blushes because what well, he he it, it actually involves a girl, so that's you know one of the reasons. And, uh, and the character is um, you know shy towards uh, towards girls. It doesn't get him. If you if you read the manga at all, you understand you understand why to some degree. Um, but yeah, this is what I would go for for a confused character. At least my uh, my characters. You notice some characters don't even have like some characters. They're so serious, especially in, uh, with villains and antagonists. They don't usually have too many um, chibi face, chibi style faces or chibi style drawings but I, I, I tend to believe that you know the ones they do have are the more relatable ones it's not it, it, not always you don't have, just because you have a chibi doesn't make you relatable but you know the one the antagonist they do have they're generally the ones I end up liking but it, it, it doesn't work out. It, it, like I said you know it's, it's different for everybody it doesn't it, that's not the case every time just because a villain has it, uh, he or she uh, he or she has like funny moments doesn't mean they're relatable but I'm just saying generally what I what what tends to end up happening is I generally have some kind of connection to the to the character or the, the character has uh, more depth but like I said not always so yeah this is my facial expression for you know Sano being confused uh, for sound effects I would like to you know have like a gulp sound effect and I do my sound effects traditionally, even though I may or may not touch them uh, in the computer. But uh, for the most part, my sound effects are traditional. But uh, you know, like I said, I may or may not touch them uh, digitally. Uh, let me see. You know, the, the the sound effects also, you know, should look a little bit silly as well. You know, that's what I try to do. Uh, one of the good, uh, one of the things I like about uh, manga is how you can exaggerate things, and it tends to it tends it tends to work. You know, with movement or even comedy. You know, when characters bleed out of their nose, uh, out of their noses. You know, and to some, you know, it doesn't really make sense, but in some cases, some cases, it works. And uh, I think manga and anime fans are already used to that. Uh, so here are the things to notice for uh, the chibi drawings, right? Um, there is almost no detail in any of it. Just a little ear here. 
Uh, I left a lot of room for uh, the forehead. Um, the head is, you know, it's almost uh, uh, caricature. You know, it's almost caricature, and you know, the, the head's bigger than the body. You can you can tell by the shoulders, and um, everything is almost stylized. Uh, there is no almost zero to no detail or anything, and it's supposed to be funny. And it's supposed to be almost in a funny mood drawing it and not take the drawing itself uh, too seriously and I think that even with that um, even with that uh, how do I put this if you with that uh, state of mind you would be able to create other you know chibi styles by yourself and not not ones that you know look like others or something like that you'd be able to come up with your own chibi style drawings because if you notice that in manga or uh, anime they really everybody has their own style and whatnot uh, but even chibis are different you know but when you look at a chibi you know it's chibi so you know those are the things to uh, look out for and just not take the drawing itself too seriously so yeah uh, I'll be back and with the inked version and uh, what I did with it uh, for the Tony and I'll end the video Just don't forget to like and favor this video subscribe for more if you if you want more uh, click on the annotations for the videos that are featured you know you can learn uh, stuff from my tutorials or learn just a, a whole lot more about Apple black as a whole uh, for details on what Saturday AM is and what it uh, uh, you know what's about there'll be links in the description for you guys to go check that out uh, leave a comment on the video you want to see next whether it's a tutorial video or a video you want uh, from me explaining explaining anything about the manga if you have read it and if you haven't read the uh, manga there's a link for you to go read it in the description below um, the description or the about section below will also have links to you know things that you might find interesting you know Facebook page white manga Facebook page Saturday and Facebook page or you could you know you can tweet at me or you can just you know tweet uh, spread the word about the manga any support is uh, much appreciated the hashtag Apple black uh, or just you know tweet at me um, so yeah thanks for watching this video this is white manga and I'm out